you were uh, graduating when you first went to UC, how big was the pressure to get the third WS? So like I said before, I have a hard time when I start because I have some personal issues in my life who make my focus away. And I knew my talent without being obvious. I know my talent, I train every day with the best, in the best gym in the world, so I know what I can do. And I know that I can be the best in this division. So that was just a, a matter of time for me to get this victory. And today I show the world I'm this talented fighter. Do you mind kind of explaining to us what those personal issues were? No. No? And um, is that all sorted now though? Is that all a thing of the past? Are you you happy with your training and stuff? Yeah, no, I've changed my whole uh, way of life. So after my f my first uh, loss in UFC, that was brutal for me because I was undefeated. Yeah. And you know, you go to UFC, this is the best division, and everybody cares just about UFC. They don't care if you have 11, 30 win victory in streak before. You go to UFC, this is the real deal, the big deal, and I lost like in 30 seconds. So for me, that, I, I, that was putting my whole career in uh, in the way of thinking and now I was rushing so I lose I try to get a fight and I lose and I try to get a fight and I, instead of be patient like I did this time I've been patient during one year and that's pay off after Do you, you know you did have three losses in a row was there any point there where you thought I might not get another opportunity yeah of course many times but like I said before in the previous interview I'm um, one on the only fighter who don't cheat, taking some substance, who I don't turn a fight, I don't turn down a fight, there is many fighters that do this, I don't fake injury, I take anybody anywhere, and I don't miss my weight. So I'm very professional about my sport and my career, so I think this is why they get me the shot all the time, because I'm this professional fighter. It was a great performance today, you, you pretty much dominated the whole fight. Um, there was a period there at the end where the referee could have stopped it a few times. Did, did you think it was a, a late stoppage? Um, I think I, I caught him with the high kick uh, and we went down, he tried to get the Kimura on me and uh, was a little bit time so I think he, he, he rest a bit and he get up and I retouched him. I saw it was kind of dizzy, but I don't think that was enough to stop the fight. But at the end, when the ref stopped, I think that was the perfect stoppage. Yeah. At, at the end, yes. Before, that was, uh, we can talk about this, but I don't, I don't think. I think the ref did a very good job. You were saying a minute ago, you're not afraid of anyone in this division. Yeah. Um, lightweight, there's a lot of big players that in, in 155. Who, who, who do you fancy next? I don't know, I will take anybody because um, I know, I, I told you before, I, I'm not orgulous, I know my, I train with the best and I know what I do at the, in, when I train. And I, I, just before this fight, I've asked Tushan Shelby to give me Joe Lawson. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think he take my, my, my um, answer, my request in consideration because I think for a kind of man like Joe Lawson, me, I'm not a good setup, uh, a good matchup for him. But next time, I, I would like to fight against a, a good, light, a very good lightweight to show that I'm this fighter. Great stuff. And how, how are you going to celebrate tonight? Uh, what I'm going to do tonight? Yeah. Uh, there is my family, there is my coach, a lot of my friends came to see me, so I think we're going to uh, enjoy the rest of the event. Maybe go eat something and maybe go uh, tonight in a bar to drink some beer. That's all. <laughs> Great stuff, T-Rock. Congratulations. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.